What's up? Not much. It's been a minute, bro. I know, right? It's Marcus and Julian. Yo, they ain't ready for this one. They're just simply not ready. Nah, cause I mean, I don't think y'all heard about this Andrew Tate guy, but I mean, he's our God, dude. A legend, simply like, just a legend. Bro. His knowledge has got me so many, bro. It's unbelievable. Power. Andrew Tate knowledge. For, I don't suck his dick or nothing, but I, I would if I, if I had a chance. Right, okay. Just for the knowledge. I agree with you. If, okay, say I was a female, I would do it. Bro's handsome. I, I'm sorry, but hey, I'm just gonna be a man and say it. <laughs> if I was a female, I'd be into ball too. Me too. Not that I I'm mean, like, not that I'm actually into men, but. Um, y'all notice I ain't got the beanie on today, right? <laughs> I wanna show y'all my curls. Look, fire. Thanks. Straight bro. fire. Thanks, bro. I like your hat. Thank you. Y'all trying to see the, um, y'all trying to see it? You put some color in your braids. You chopped off them, them dreads, huh? Yo, I, the dreads had to go, but like, it's, they coming back. Lit, lit. All right, so I know y'all have probably heard about Andrew Tate. Oh, I know, I know. Boo, boo, man, shut that shit down. Y'all some for that shit, bro. bro I don't think y'all understand the real alpha males. Hats off to Sir Tate the Great, cuz. If you don't listen to his advice, you just, you missing out on the testosterone that you could be receiving through his girthy lengths of explanation through his videos like i don't know how else to articulate how how much i've learned from that man bro i get it i understand because let me tell you the keys to the universe he is simply placing them in y'all's hands as a man if you are not listening to andrew tate you are not an alpha male you are a beta and you are missing the keys to a successful universe ran strictly by men I couldn't have said that better myself, bro. Thank you, Go thank on you. his TikTok. You're getting free. Absolutely. It's just it, it's gonna be on the ground, just laying on the ground free. As Absolutely. long as you listen to that man. Do you know that I heard that he on average sleeps with about five females a day? Damn, that's that's above my average of three. Mm -hmm. Shit. Mm -hmm. Didn't even know that about him. All right, bro, let's let's get into this. I wanted to really get some of his true knowledge into you guys. This is what you should be listening to. If by the end of this video, you not running to his page as a man, women, females, don't don't bother because you just y'all are too sensitive for that. But men, y'all, if y'all don't want to watch his lectures, his lectures of, of strength, you're beta, you're, you're omega, you're beta. That's all I got to say. I'm sorry to say, but you're gay. Like, <gasps> I'm sorry, but if you don't I listen mean, to him, you're gay. Shit. Listen, listen from us alpha males. Absolutely. Y'all know this already. All right, bro. So, all right. So we're just going to demonstrate to you some of, I'd say, his best moments. All right. So we're going to start off kind of strong. Breathe air. You don't need a vape. Have you ever seen anyone with a vape? Have you ever, have you ever sat in a room? So we go, wait, oh, let me just, oh, my vape's done charging. Load it up. <laughs> I mean, I smoke cigars, but I know what the fuck I'm doing. Give me a big fat cigar. I'm risking cancer to look like a mafia boss. Fine. Deal with the British accent. I'm not sitting there smoking cigars and going, I, I can't believe this is bad for me. No, like these fucking vape bullshit children. And what kind of parent lets their 16 year old vape anyway? If I had a 16 year old son, he's like, we'll go to vape. Vape. Get the fuck out of here, vape. Do some push ups. You ain't got time to vape, you gotta do push ups. Go 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 do push ups. You're a little fucking punk. <laughs> Y'all heard that? If that ain't if that ain't nothing, the truest thing I done ever heard in my life. It's just straight facts, bro. The whole push ups thing, I mean, I'm always telling my friends, like, when you got kids one day, don't tell your son to do his laundry or clean his room. Tell him to go outside and jog and, and do some push ups. That's all Absolutely. You gotta do. That's, all his, that's his only job in life. All that other just shit. Be buff. All that other True. shit, that is for your wife and your daughter. That is Literally. a female's job. And I'd say like smoking cigars is probably the manliest thing you could ever do. Bro, on God, ever since I started listening to him and taking his true knowledge and his words, bro, tell me why I've been smoking like five cigars a day. Bro, you know what? I need to start doing that shit because as soon as I watched that video, I put my vape down. I thought to myself, if I ever have a kid that chooses to vape, I'm gonna take his little ass to the vet. Cause he's a like, Absolutely. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. <laughs> I mean, vaping just makes you gay. I mean, it, it truly does. Like, not in a homophobic way, but cut. <laughs> 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 
Bro, have y'all noticed that ever since this video started, we low-key have been getting manlier and manlier, literally. Like, I know you can low-key smell the musk and the testosterone seeping from our balls. Tell me, can you smell my balls? Sure can. Get the... Sure. I mean, I'm just, I'm just becoming more man, more manly, you know what I exactly. mean? Exactly. Like, I haven't showered in three days. That's a job to shower me that's why i read Bruh, on, it's just on, it's just on god bro you know what you know why they call us dogs why because you like the chase for food you know what i mean yeah. Oh. Yeah. you know what dogs are they're smelly don't shower let your bitch shower you let your bitch get your bath that's all i gotta say let that bitch wash the gooch grease in between the inside of the sack that that is her job, not yours. You are a king. Literally, bro. Anyway, I think Tate would be real proud of us right now. So, I think as an alpha male, sometimes you gotta show the females that you've got a feminine side, too. Yeah, man, I'm not afraid to put on some heels in bed and be a sissy boy for my woman, exactly. if that's what she's into. You know what I mean? Like, that don't take away my alpha-ness. That doesn't take away anything from me. Bro, if anything, it enhances it. I'm not afraid to go to the nail salon and get six inch tips if my <coughs> woman's into it. Whatever gets her cooter wet, because I need that lubrication. Right. It's just so big, you know? Right. We got the next you validate video. For that one. All right. Yeah. I absolutely not really love women. I have nothing against women. I believe women are the most precious things on the planet. They create life. They should be protected. They should be provided for. I would never let a woman pay for a bill. I would never let a woman, uh, if someone touched any of my women, I would stand up against 10 men by myself and risk my life to protect her. I believe that women are beautiful creatures. I just don't think that they're as emotionally calm as men in stressful situations. I don't think they can fight like a man can. And, and for the same reason, I would never drop my children in an all male nursery. I think that's strange and weird. I would only drop them in an all female nursery. Women do certain things and men do certain things. And we live in a world now where the whole idea of the roles has been conflated to the fact where if I come along and say women are better with children and men are better, better. fighting, that I'm somehow fucking sexist when it's clearly true. There's nothing wrong with stating right. the facts. It's right. the truth. The divide between Females and men. It is there for a reason. Why do they got why do they got boobs that make milk? Right. They're nurturers. That's exactly. there's nothing wrong with that. Exactly. There's a reason that precedents are always men. Because women can't do shit except for nurture, clean, and suck this dick. Couldn't have said it better. All of them. Bro. I got STDs. All of them. That's a manly thing though. I do say that like only men should deserve to be having STDs because as a female, why do you you shouldn't. You shouldn't be having an STD because you only get an STD. The only way to get STDs is from having sex with people. Women that have sex with more than two people by the time they're 30, mm. I genuinely believe there's something wrong with them. Because if you really think about it, first time, gotta get out of the way. Everybody, got, Everyone gets one person. Everyone gets a pass, that's fine. True. Second person should be your should be your husband. Why, why are you out? That's a man's job to go out and get his balls licked. Exactly, because when you think about it, how is a man supposed to be a provider of a family? Hear me out. Listen to me. How is a man supposed to be a provider of a family if he can't go out and make one and pr and fertilize? Let that sink in. Okay. This is another topic I'd like to um bring up. Okay. Why should I get my balls chopped off to have protected sex without chance of a child when a woman could just take a birth control pill once a day? Why should I? I don't care if she gets pregnant. That's her fault. She shouldn't have, she shouldn't have missed a pill. Why should I get my balls chopped off? Thank you. That don't make no damn sense. <clears throat> Thank you, because a female getting pregnant? Do you know what that sounds like to me? That sounds like a they problem. That sounds like a they problem. I ain't giving you no 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 child what's it called i don't even know what it's called because i don't give a i don't give a damn i don't care if i impregnate a person that is her problem she should have been taking the pill that's all i gotta say um but yeah y'all y'all heard about that whole roe versus wade thing i mean i'm for it because i mean <clears throat> i'm not paying for no child support so so you um you like women to be a, have a, a like I said, I'm not getting my ball chopped off because I say I hear that it makes it makes you less like of a man. Obviously. I think so. Like truly, if you choose to get your balls chopped off, you're a female. You're, you're a female. You're, that's literally a sex change. You're literally a female. So I'm sorry. You if testicular cancer, female. Have to get your balls removed, female. Sorry. You chose to be weak. 
honestly, and this is just my unpopular opinion, I think that when guys wear uh, boxer briefs, the ones that are like tight on your balls, that makes you a female too. You, you need air for them junks, bro. Absolutely. You need air. Your balls should not be sticking. They shouldn't be sticking to your pants. Now, let me really truly spit a little bit of knowledge on you, on you just a little bit. <clears throat> Ancient Egyptians, okay? Ancient Egyptians, the men used to build the pyramids and the females would sit along and create nutrients to feed the men building the pyramids. Now, without that ancient structure we as as males as alpha males that is that's that is alpha male activity our balls evolved to be bigger for a reason and that's all i have to say you know what bro i could feel my balls getting tight just here when you say that it's just i've just evolved to be enticed by women giving us what we need and nothing more that's their job that's their job you ready to get into this next video bro yeah what do you, what do you as a little bitch you're my Andrew motherfucking Tate. You ain't got button up shit. I'll walk into the fucking most premier establishment you can name with my shirt unbuttoned so every bitch in there knows I cheat. Are you Polly? No, because that means they can talk to other dudes. That's fucking haram. That's atrocious. That's disgusting. Female promiscuity is disgusting <laughs> to the point where females were executed for it. Yeah. And most of the world today- As they should be. <laughs> Get the wrong. Anyways, I mean, do we gotta say more? Y'all heard it best. Y'all heard it from the horse's mouth himself, the alpha horse's mouth himself. That man spat nothing but knowledge in that last clip. I mean, let let's really explain it. Break it down. A man, okay. Females like to act so surprised when they find out that a man cheats. It's just in our nature. We are the hunters. If you walk into a club and you see a man's shirt like this, <sighs> alpha. No matter what, even if you don't think it in the forefront of your brain, you want to suck his, his shirts open like this. He got some curly hair. I just shaved mine last night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He already has you in that, in that trance. Does he have a girlfriend? Probably. But does he care in that moment? No, he came to the club for you and, it's, and her. And, and it's her. honestly not your business who he has going home. As a man, we are the hunters. We have to provide. We, Adam. Adam had to procreate. He had to impregnate everybody. Daughter, his grandma, his mom. Damn. We are the Adams. Damn. You know, I had an ex named Eve. Really? That Let me guess. She was one of those feminists, females. Yeah, she thought she had her own rights. And, and deserve them. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> she really thought she could drive my car. My big F, my F1 Ford 50. <laughs> my Ford F150. <laughs> Just because you have a license doesn't mean you know how to drive. That is a man's vehicle. You women think you know everything. You wouldn't think that you run this world. You are simply a pebble in the entire universe compared to us males. Really a speck. Without us, without us. You, you want to make your own all, all women world, all women country? What would you do without it? <laughs> Who, who's going to be born? Who, how are you going to regenerate? Yeah, I, I'm going to sit back and I'm going to wait. Give me an answer. Go ahead. You can't. Right. I respect y'all though, for real. Because the way y'all be transforming with them wigs and, 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 them, and them eyelashes and them, uh, what, what them things called, the, the blush. I mean, that's, that's amazing, but that's all y'all good for. Looking good, cooking up that dinner. And, Give me that sandwich. I'm telling you. Much shit. Because what is all that that makeup and that weave? What is that? You're not bringing anything to the table. You're not bringing anything to the table, but cute looks, punani, pum pum, whatever you want to call it. That's it? That's all you got to offer me? What's that going to do for me in the long run? How about you get in the kitchen? How about you take out a pot? How about you throw some ramen on the stove? Make a sandwich. Gourmet ramen. Gourmet? With some scallions. Absolutely. I totally rumble. Now. Mine too. Yo bitch gonna come over and cook tonight or what? Tch, shit. I told her if she doesn't like, it's over. It's over. Mm. So you're not gonna, so I'm hungry. If I tell you, me and my, me and my nigga, we hungry. So you're not gonna come over and make us food? I'll break up with that whole immediately. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. She's, she's, But like I was saying though, I, I respect y'all. As long as y'all respect us by doing the bare minimum looking good, smelling good, sucking the stick and, and making me food. Mm -hmm. And don't drive my car. 
y'all gonna crash it as soon as you make it past the mailbox. Absolutely. Let's get into this next video, bro. Female promiscuity has always, across every culture that's ever existed, been frowned upon. If you were a hoe, you were laughed at. That is not a coincidence. It's because females are designed to meet a man, get pregnant, fall in love with said man. If you keep sleeping with X dude, X dude, X dude, popping plan Bs, taking that the morning after pill, that cheapens you. It doesn't matter if a man slept with 20 girls or 200 girls. He is still the man. If a woman slept with 200 men, she is worth less. Damn. This is the basis of the that game. No man. man is gonna marry a woman that 200 men slammed and threw to the street. Oh this, this goes back. This goes back to what we were saying. This is my, that's my favorite video right there. Honestly, I don't know, bro. Like every time I watch that video, because I'm not gonna lie, I do put that video on while I'm getting ready in the morning. And I put that video on before I go to bed because I, I just have to, I, I have to be reminded. Whenever me as a man, if I get tempted by the promiscuity of a female, I have to remember she is a and she has slept with more than one person. That is honestly like eating spoiled food. Why would you want that? Why would you want spoiled food? Completely ruined. A man, a man's body slowly, slowly regenerates after every person he sleeps with. They come out fresh, smelling fresh, feeling fresh. That is how a man gets his power, his superpowers. If a woman gets nut up in her that shit stays there for years. Years, literally. I heard that. I Googled it once, and that's what Google said. Like, that's facts. Like, I don't have to ask the doctor or nothing. Like, that's literally the truth. If you Google something, automatically the truth. But anyway, if I ask a woman her body count, and she says more than two, instant block. I don't care if she's my soulmate. Nope. You ain't my, you ain't my soulmate if you slept with more than two people. I'm so sorry. I'm mad picky, bro. That's why I get a new bitch every two weeks. I just... Try to get my number up to 500 because, like he said, I'm still the man if I slept with two people or 500 people. It don't matter. If anything, I'd say that makes you better. Exactly. Oh, you slept with like five people. Beta male. Beta male. Yeah, you're a beta male. Bro, I had this. I had this other bro that he he was like fine or whatever. The pause, but he only slept with two women, and I was like. Dude, like, what do you, what do you, do, what are you saving, what are you saving your for? Like, that's a woman's job to save her cooter. You don't have to save your. It regenerates every time. Absolutely. You grow new skin. That's what foreskin's for. It literally like sheds off, right? And it like grows back. Literally, yeah. Like, I may have six STDs, but it doesn't really count because every time I have sex with a new person, it like resets. Mhm, mm mm -hmm. It just be dirty out here. That's why I got so many. Absolutely, guys. Let's get into this last video of the day. Some points were made. I will say. Yeah, we gotta go get some burgers. You know, some alpha, some alpha burgers. Some testosterone burgers. Is this the person who's gonna kill me? I mean, if 12 tigers attack me and I manage to defeat 11 in unarmed combat with my Aikido and the last tiger gets my neck, that's a, that's a fine way for Tate to die. But for this bitch, this idiot to kill me, that's disrespectful to the universe. Like someone that pathetic can't kill someone as great as me. I'm the man. The worst thing about it is if she did kill me, she wouldn't even go to jail. It was an accident. He was driving too fast. Doop to do. Would she even get points on her driver's license? Probably not. What would happen to her? Nothing. Stupid bitch. I'll be damned if a bitch lays a hand on me. I'll kill her first. Absolutely. I'll go to jail. How dare you? I throw you down the stairs and you have the, you have the nerve to punch me in the face. Absolutely. Who do you think you are? I think for a man to be the highest power, who are you to put your hands on a man? I don't understand. But if I kill that if I take her life, oh, oh, I have to go to jail. I have to go to prison because it makes an example out of men. Bro, we are above women. Don't put your hands on me. You deserve to get slapped. You deserve to get punched. If I ever date a female and she put, I actually, bro, I beat the sh, bro, I beat the dog crap. Remember that other was dating like two two weeks ago yeah i beat her because she had the nerve i remember that i i pulled her on her hair because i told her to stop talking to me like that in public and i pulled her on her hair and she slapped me and i beat her i busted her lip i broke her jaw i gave her multiple um hairline fractures and she lied for you too didn't she tell the cops that she fell on the stairs or something as she should y'all yep i mean that was a good one Mm -hmm. Just not good enough. They never are good enough. They nope. are trash. I respect y'all, but don't get us wrong. We respect. We literally, we literally respect women. Like we respect women, but they gotta know their place. Type beat. Like, like women gotta know 
where their place is. But like, we respect y'all. But you know, men have more testosterone and more strength than women for a reason. That's why y'all gotta be kept in line with some slaps and some beating sometimes. Mm -hmm. If you try it, we're stronger for a reason. Absolutely. Now, God, God in the universe would not have made a man stronger for no reason. Exactly. There is a reason why. We are made to fight and protect and go to work. And what are y'all made for? To get your nails done. I pay for that. So you pay for this with your mouth. Honestly, couldn't have said it better myself. I feel like today was successful. I think we got our point across. I think so. That's Marcus and Julian. I think so. I'm glad this video wasn't as gay as usual. He sus as hell sometimes. Who? Yo. Bro. I'll be, I'll be contemplating if you're even alpha or not. So you're, you're questioning me whether I'm alpha. Yeah. You showed me your balls last night. What was that about? Bro, because I told I guess, you. I guess you was tweaking, but dang. I, I couldn't help it. I was on. <laughs> Bro, what? That, that wasn't. That was. Okay. All right. So you quit outing your crimes on the internet. I I'm think just, they got enough. Yeah, I'm just tating y'all guys. It's been. It's been Julian and Marcus. I bet y'all have some relief. Uh, Getting an upload from us and not some women. They did. They I, did. I know there's only like 2% of their channel that's men, but I hope y'all men got a good message out today. Respect your women by slapping them when they out of line. Facts. All right, peace out. We got to go get some burgers. Yeah, I shot some up before this video. I got to I, bro, I gotta I gotta bleep that word, bro. Ain't nobody. <laughs> anyway, peace. Yo. Can you smell my balls? <laughs> Sorry, do it again, do it again. Women, women that. <laughs>